Hey everyone, welcome back to Dot Store channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the no shipping options available error in WooCommerce. This is a super common issue, especially if you've just installed WooCommerce and haven't configured your shipping yet. I'll also share a smarter way to set up flat rate shipping, especially if you're looking for more flexibility. Let's get started. So, if your customers are seeing, no shipping options were found for your location, at the cart or checkout, it usually means WooCommerce doesn't have any shipping method set up for their address. Out of the box, WooCommerce doesn't apply any shipping until you configure zones and methods manually. To fix it, go to WooCommerce. Settings. Shipping. Click, Add Zone, and add a title for the zone, like we are adding, India, then choose a country or region. Let's say we are choosing India, here. Then click, Add Shipping Method, and select Free Shipping, Flat Rate, or Local Pickup. We are choosing a flat rate here. Now add the title and the amount of the shipping method. Then save your settings. Now, let's look at the front side. The message should go away. Now, this manual method works, but it can be a bit limited. For example, if you want different flat rates based on specific products or categories, cart subtotal or quantity or shipping to different countries with different costs. You'll find WooCommerce built-in options don't go very far. That's why many store owners prefer using a flat rate shipping plugin that gives them more control and flexibility without needing to dig through multiple settings or write custom code. With this plugin, you can just set up a rule, define your conditions, and apply the rate all in one place. Let me quickly show you how easy it is to set up a flat rate shipping rule using a plugin like this. First, go to the plugin settings and click on Add New. Add a title for the rule like Subtotal Shipment. This is for your reference in the admin panel. Then add a title like Store Shipping, which will show on the cart and checkout page. Enter the flat rate amount you want to charge, for example, 5. Now, here's where the real flexibility kicks in. You can add shipping method rules like product specific shipping, category based rates, subtotal specific charges cart quantity-specific rules and more. This means your flat rate shipping can adapt to different carts, products, or customer behavior. Now, we are set up with a subtotal-specific condition where the cart subtotal should be more than 25 to apply our shipping method. Once everything is set, just click Save Changes, and you're done. Alright, let's look at this in action on the cart page. Right now, WooCommerce default flat rate shipping is already being applied. But in real-world scenarios, you might want to charge shipping only when the subtotal reaches a certain threshold, like 25 or more. That's where the flexibility of a flat rate plugin like this comes in. We've already set up a subtotal-based rule using the plugin. So now let's increase the quantity of the beanie from 1 to 2. The subtotal now becomes $36 as soon as the cart updates, our plugin-based shipping method appears, exactly as configured. Now let's test the reverse, we reduce the quantity back to 1, and the subtotal drops back to 18. As expected, the shipping method from our plugin disappears because the condition is no longer met. This dynamic behavior isn't possible with default WooCommerce shipping, but with this plugin, you get that fine-grained control effortlessly. And of course, if we continue to the checkout page while the condition is met, the same shipping method is applied and ready to use at order placement. So, to sum it up, that no shipping options error usually means shipping hasn't been set up yet. You can fix it with WooCommerce default zones. But if you want more control, plugins like our flat rate shipping for WooCommerce make it faster and smarter to set up flat rate shipping with conditions. If you're ready to streamline your shipping setup, check out the link in the description below. If you are here, it means this video is helpful to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more WooCommerce tutorials. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this video.